This is my nephew's 10 square meter bedroom. As you can see, it is in desperate need of a redesign. Originally, this room served as an entertainment room when my sister first got this apartment. However, now is being used by her 11-year-old son who is rapidly outgrowing the space. The main challenge with this room is how to fit a bed, a study area and a space for games and fun, all within the constraints of a 10 square meter area. Additionally, I will need to ensure there is ample storage for all of his clothes and toys. Given the circumstances, I couldn't resist taking on this challenge and finding a solution for my nephew's room. To accurately measure the space of the room, I'll be using an application called Polycam, which is today's sponsor. You can get Polycam from the App Store, and when you open the app, you will find a feature called Room. Here, you can easily point your phone to all the corners of the room and it will start mapping all the areas. Polycam not only creates a floor plan, but also generates a ready 3D model. As you point your phone at the corners of the walls, you will see lines being added. And at the bottom, you can see the real-time creation of the 3D model. Take your time when pointing the phone at the window area to create a cutout space in the floor plan and geometry. Polycam even creates these placeholders for furniture. Occasionally, you might see a warning to slow down. So it's recommended to move your phone slowly for the best capture. Once you're done, you can preview the 3D model, which is quite accurate. You can also press this Process button and it will show you the room with all the textures. There's also a First Person button to experience the space. Clicking on the floor plan will show you the room layout with all the measurements available. And if you want to measure a specific area, simply draw lines and check the measurements. I even tested the accuracy by measuring the same area. After you are finished, you can go to the Polycam website where your captures will be available. From there, you can download the 3D model in various file formats. I selected FPX and loaded it into my 3D model application. I quickly made a retopology on top of the existing 3D model. Now that I have the basic 3D model, I'll add all the details such as baseboards, window trims, doors and windows. I'll be using Lumion, a real-time software for designing and rendering the final project. Now, when you enter the existing space, you can see that it looks cramped without much space or design into it. The current room features this large wardrobe that takes up too much space in this already small room. Since he's currently a middle school student, the requirements for this room are The room needs to be bright for studying and storing books and materials. It should also have space for entertainment, such as watching TV and playing video games. Ample storage is necessary for clothing and keeping toys out of sight. Lastly, there should be a sitting area that can also be used for sleeping. And to ensure that my sister can handle everything on her own, one of the requirements is that all the furniture must come from IKEA. This is because IKEA offers affordable options and easy to assemble. First, I'll start by adding a new wardrobe. IKEA provides customizable packs with all the necessary components. On the IKEA site, I went to the Packs Planner and I have selected a wardrobe with a height of 236 cm, a depth of 35 cm and three doors measuring 50 cm in width. I will include a 100 cm cabinet for hanging clothes, blankets and shoes, as well as a drawer for personal items. 
The second cabinet, slightly smaller at 50 cm in width, will have free drawers and shelving for sweaters, trousers and similar items. To maintain a seamless look, I will choose plain white doors that blend well with the wall. The total cost for all of this will be approximately $785. Due to the smaller depth of the wardrobe, the clothing will need to be hung as shown in the illustration. This arrangement allows the wardrobe to fit neatly along the entrance corridor without appearing too bulky. Next, I will address the issue of the bed's placement at the entrance of the room, which is quite uncomfortable. Instead, I will opt for the Brimes bed from IKEA. This bed offers versatility as it can function as both a sofa and a bed. Furthermore, it can be opened to serve as a full queen-size bed. The bottom drawers provide ample storage space for bed linen, pillows and other bedding items. The cost of the Brimes bed is around $500. To optimize the space and functionality, I will remove the desk and dresser, as they occupy a significant amount of room without offering much utility. For clothing storage, the wardrobe with shelving will be enough. As for the desk, I will utilize Besta units to cover the wall. The IKEA website provides a Besta planner tool to help with furniture planning. By dragging and dropping the appropriate Besta cabinets, I can customize the layout to fit my space. I will leave an open space in the middle to serve as a desk area, accommodating a table and chair. This is the final result of the Besta unit. This at a cost of about $900. There is one item missing from the list, an IKEA kitchen countertop that will serve as a desk space. I have found a oak countertop that is almost the right size, requiring a minor trim to fit perfectly. And this is how the cabinet looks in the room. If you notice, there's a beam in the corner, so some of the cabinets will need to be cut on the back to accommodate it. This way, the best cabinet can fit perfectly on the entire width of the wall, making it ideal for study, storage and entertainment purposes. To complement the design, wood acoustic panels will be added. These panels not only absorb sound, but also enhance the room's aesthetic with their natural materials. The cost for these panels of this size is approximately $150. Additionally, a TV will be included in the design for watching TV shows, movies or playing games. With these final additions, the room now offers a modern look with new wall colors. Upon entering the room, you will be greeted with a clutter-free environment. The wardrobe is thoughtfully placed as an extension of the entrance corridor, providing ample storage space for clothes and accessories. The new Vista unit is now a versatile space where my nephew can study and enjoy his free time playing video games or watching his favorite movies and TV shows in his new bed that also doubles as a comfortable sofa. The total cost of this renovation is around $2,500. Let me know in the comments what you think of this redesign. If you enjoyed this series and you would like to receive an interior redesign from me, Check the link below for instructions on how to apply to be featured in one of my videos.
And that concludes today's video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.